What is going on everybody and welcome to the video. So with the announcement of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind trailer coming on Monday morning, I've been wondering what it is that we're actually going to see. Since the trailer we got at the concert over the summer, we haven't really seen or heard much of anything from it since then. We got confirmation with the announcement of the trailer that the DLC is done, so I believe that this opens up the door for what we can expect to see in the next trailer. I'd like to take some time to go over some things that I personally believe that we can expect to be within it. Just as a reminder, this video will be my opinion entirely. These are going to be things that I personally feel like will get shown off and what I feel is right for them to show. If you guys agree or disagree, please let me know what you think that will get shown off in the comments section below. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Now, before we actually get into the things that I think we'll actually see, let's talk about the length of the trailer. I believe that this trailer will be about two to three minutes. That seems pretty standard for most Kingdom Hearts trailers, and since this is simply DLC, I can't imagine it being any longer than that. There are so many things that they haven't shown us yet, so I feel mixing and cutscenes with gameplay can clock in somewhere around the two to three minute mark. Nomura stated that we only saw cutscenes from the additional scenario, so that leaves us with nothing else but the limit episode, the secret episode, and the secret boss. Okay, so now let's move on to what I think we will see in the trailer itself. So the first thing that I expect to see in this trailer this time around is voice acting. Now, in the last trailer, we didn't get any voice acting whatsoever, not saying that this is an issue, but it was clear that the DLC wasn't really far enough along for them to show us some voice acting in the trailer. Perhaps that's what they were going for, since I feel it actually made it a lot more epic and much more mysterious in a way. You know, I personally enjoyed the text and no audio, but, you know, especially when it came to Young Master Xanuar and the hooded figure in the beginning, I like that whole mystery aspect of it. However, I feel like now they will show us some voice cutscenes. I definitely think it's time. So the second thing that I expect to see in this trailer is something of a tease when it comes to the secret episode or the boss. It seems like it is somewhat of a given that we're going to get this since, again, as I previously stated, that we saw a lot from the additional scenario, and we know pretty much almost nothing when it comes to the secret episode and the boss. I'm going to throw it out there and say that I'm 99% sure that the secret episode is going to either lead up to or start from where the secret movie at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 takes place. I'd like to see them tease what this will be all about. I can predict that it's going to be either Sora and Riku, or just Sora, and heck, maybe even just Riku, but probably just Sora if we only get to play as one of them. It will be us traversing through this quote-unquote Shibuya that Sora and Riku are currently in. Now, there are two other individuals here as well, Yozora and the Master of Masters. I feel either or of those might be one of the secret bosses, or maybe even both of them, who really knows. I don't want them to give a lot away here, or to show too much, but anything simply just confirming that this is what the secret episode is going to be, or this is potentially who the boss is going to be, I'm totally fine with that. And honestly, before we move on, I just want to say that I had to tip my hat to the first Remind trailer, and I thought they did an amazing job letting us know basically what's going on and what to expect, but without really spoiling anything. Hopefully we can go two for two here, and this upcoming trailer can give us enough to entertain us, yet also make us scratch our heads at the exact same time. So, the third thing that I expect to see in this trailer is hints of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross ties. I think it's time for Kingdom Hearts to finally take the plunge and to actually explain the ties and the connections between Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. The subtle comments and inferences throughout the game were enough for hardcore fans like myself to pick up on, yet I feel like it confused the more casual fans, or for those who are new to the series. I want them to show people why Kingdom Hearts Union Cross matters. I also think that it's finally time for us to get this connection because the trailer is being advertised not only in honor of the Japanese Kingdom Hearts Union Cross 4th anniversary, but it's being advertised in the game itself and we're actually getting rewards distributed because of it. They aren't really doing this for no reason. This is something I feel that I'm fairly certain of when it comes to the contents of the trailer. Whether it's through some sort of cutscene with Ven remembering his past, or we get more teases towards Subject X aka Scald, there needs to be some sort of tease that can Hearts Union Cross is going to tie into this DLC and the rest of the franchise as a whole. So number four, a release date. Since the DLC is done, there's no real reason why we wouldn't get a release date. Uh, at the very least, I would expect at least a release month. We know that as of right now, it's coming out this winter, so I feel like it's time that we actually know when we'll be getting this DLC. And last but not least, number five, the price. I feel like nobody's really talking about this. Like, how much do we have to pay for this? Uh, I know it doesn't really matter, and Kingdom Hearts fans will pay virtually whatever it takes to get this DLC, but I feel like we definitely need a price. If we get the price, then we'll be able to possibly judge how much content is going to be within the DLC. If I had to guess, 
it's probably going to be around $19.99 to $24.99 US, but I believe it can be pretty much anything. Uh, that's just my guesstimate. It's going to be somewhere around there, but yeah, I, I do believe that we need to know the price of the DLC. So, other than everything that I listed, I'm not entirely sure what I can confidently say that we're going to see in the trailer. I didn't want to get too specific because I did my best to predict what we're going to see in the trailer rather than speculate and theorize. Again, I want the trailer to have voice acting, tease the secret episode, tease the ties between Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Kingdom Hearts 3, give us something along the lines of a release date, and then the price of the DLC. Don't forget to let me know what you guys are all expecting to see in this trailer in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video, most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Hearts content. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next video, I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.